Hello everyone and welcome to New Body. I am Latriviette and if you are new to this channel, uh, welcome. Thank you for joining me. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. If you are a follower from my other platforms and you're joining me, welcome back. Thank you for rocking with me. Appreciate you. All right, so let's get started. Um, First and foremost, just want to let you know that all readings by Latrivia or New Body are for entertainment purposes. Um, while I am a holistic health practitioner, uh, I'm not a licensed medical professional. So any uh, information that you receive regarding um, health and well-being, be sure to uh, check with your licensed physician, your doctor, if you are having any issues, whether that's physical or mental. Okay. Also, um, any legal information from these readings, um, also seek your, your professionals uh, regarding that. It's all the information from these readings are energetic. So, um, going by energy, I'm not saying uh, what you should or should not do. You are adults and should hold your own selves uh, accountable. So, with that being said, let's get started. Let's get some... Let's start off with this deck first. This is one of my my go-to decks. All right. So we have roses and we have pearl. Okay, both with the number one. So let's see what, what's going on here. We had a really great reading with the last reading. So uh, do check out some of the readings. I did post a card of the day, which I want to try to start doing. Um, it was supposed to be in the short section, but it didn't make it there. It will in the future. So don't forget to check out uh, the community tab, which I leave messages um there and uh, short messages maybe one card or two but also um, definitely the card of the day will be through the shorts so don't forget to check out those all right so roses says of course love romance affection appreciation devotion uh fondness friendship infatuation um again both of these cards are uh one on the deck which says um new beginnings okay Pearl. Pearl says emotional force, opening up, experiential uh, wisdom, honesty, intuition, perception, loyalty. So this is telling me off the bat that um, someone's opening up to love, to romance, and it's new beginnings. So it could be a new romance on deck. So the last reading was about um, some money coming in and a new partnership. So um, you know, that's the energy that we're in. New, 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 open it up to the new, new. Okay. So we have Sapphire, which is a one on the deck as well. Okay. With the new beginnings. So Sapphire and we have fairy tale. See, it's already starting off good. What a great Friday. So Sapphire says mental force, spiritual insight, Hope and faith, wise judgment, power and strength, kindness, um, life of the party, extroverted, uh, precious, valued. So fairy tale talks about believing the impossible, romantic endings. Look at that. Come on now. Come on through. So I'm getting new beginnings in a romance. That's that's basically, um, you know, spiritual insight talks about um you know, listening to spirit, listening to your intuition about this romance coming in. Woo. Living happily ever after. That's what the fairy tale is talking about. I don't even want to do any more with this. I don't even want to spoil that. Yeah, let's go on to another deck. I don't even want to spoil it. I want to keep going. So we want to do, um, I want to do the, this is my earth magic deck. That's what it is. Earth magic. All right. And I forget who this is by, but um, this was definitely in my buying a lot of decks phase. Okay. 
So you have whale. And you have lake. Dang. Where's the book? Alright, I have to get the book for these. So you have breach and stillness. And you know, stillness is in at the lake, you know, it's talking about like serenity, being still, going within. Um, breach gives me the energy of um Some, someone getting into something. But let's look at the other uh, the other decks. I might have to pause this to go get it. So we have tree. And again, this is a deck that doesn't do reversals, but if I'm called to, to read the card in reverse, then I will. Um, this is talking about grounding. Okay? There's no numbers on this, on this deck. So um, still in grounding. So... Off the back, the energy that I'm getting is that, you know, with this being a whale, whales are huge, okay? So, um, breach, something has been, um, I guess, infiltrated, if you will, but it's huge. And there's a call for you to be still and go within and stay grounded at this time. Okay, let's get two more, or well, maybe, yeah, one or two more off this deck. I didn't even light the incense. We need some good juices going in here. So let's light the incense. But I also feel like with uh, the top cards of talking about like new romance and uh, fairy tale, uh, having the fairy tale that um, that could be something that's big that's coming in for you to it's still asking you to be grounded it's still asking you to uh, go within um, it's possible that that's so big that that might knock you off your socks like you you might not be expecting that okay so we have lightning and full moon which is completion now usually the moon talks about something being hidden but at this time this is uh, talking about completions and endings. We also have solitude. So we have power. So staying grounded, um, you ask to stay grounded. And maybe with hold, hold your power. Because lightning is, is very strong. I'm, I want to get the book on this because I don't want to give uh, false information. Even though my intuition is saying that it's um, asking you to, um, you know, still be powerful. Let me get the let me get the book. Cause I don't want to give you something that is incorrect. Excuse me one second. I am back. Thank you for being patient with me. Sorry about that. All right. All right. So. Okay, so with Breach, it says it is time to take a break, not just a coffee break, but a respite from the usual environment you find yourself in. So you have Whale, which is Breach, which is telling you to take a break. You have Lake, which is stillness, and you have Tree, which is grounding. So basically, Spirit is screaming at you to take a break right now, to take, take a chill. 
So lightning talks about the power available to you. The force of life itself is neutral. It is neither inherently good or bad. It is how you utilize it that will determine whether it is ultimately harmful or life-giving and congruent with the will of the spirit that pulses through you. What is required is awareness of your intention, your values, and your willingness to act on them under the particular circumstances of your inquiry. So I said that. I said to hold back on your power. See, come on now. Um, I said to hold back on your power because there's a time and place to be powerful and then there's a time and place to just chill. And what this is asking you is to chill. So perhaps... Um, this new relationship or partnership, I should say, that's coming in, it's asking you to be grounded and to be aware and um, use your intuition about what's going on around you so that, let you know, let things happen naturally. Don't use your force to um, make something work that, that you're, um, you could potentially ruin. That is it. And this is talking about completion. So, um, something has ended for you, and, and now a new beginning is, is, is about to start. So you have completion. I love it. What else do we have? I love it. I don't even want to ruin that. Yeah, I don't even want to ruin this. with. Uh, let's see what the tarot. Before we get to the tarot, because the tarot can be brutally honest. And the one thing that I'll say about tarot, is uh, about Oracle, is that you have different... Uh, you have different authors and different meanings with with uh, oracle cards. With tarot, the meanings on the tarot are all the same. So that's why you see with a lot of readers, um, especially the ones who, who specifically only use tarot, you're getting the same messages from all the readers because the information, the energy is the same. Okay, not to say that they are copying off each other because some are, but with oracle cards, oracle cards you have... Um, they're different. They're different from any other card. Whereas tarot, you may have the art is different, but you know, um, seven of wands is always going to be a seven of wands. Okay. And so, um, that's why I like Oracle better. So let's see what's going on with this deck. We're going to use this one. This one is, uh, a Colette Baron Reed deck. And I believe this is map of something map of the soul maybe all right so you have moonlight in reverse and then you have flying in, re in reverse okay and this is a deck that takes reversals okay so someone could be 51 someone could be born in 1951 five and one um reduces down to six okay this gives this is uh gives me the energy of the moon card in in tarot and this is about something being hidden something that you you don't see okay um it's asking you to use your intuition uh flying <laughs> whenever i see this card like it just gives me it just reminds me or gives me the energy of flying over the bs okay and so in the reverse it's like um you're not flying over it. You you are in the thick of it. So it's something that you're not seeing that you're in the thick of. And again, with breach, stillness, grounding, and power and completion, um, it's asking you to remain uh, grounded in the thick of this because that's what flying is. In the upright, flying is you're flying over the bull, okay? In the reverse, you're not. You're in it. You're in the thick of it. So uh, lightning is saying you know chill for a minute you just hold back your power there's going to be a time and a place where you can exert your power because something is ending you know you if you exert your power now before it is ended maybe you mess up some things okay all right let's get some more messages i'm loving it loving it well you got a lot of reversals in this deck did i shuffle this well so you have wishing well in the reverse Wishing well is card number 48. Someone could be 48. Someone could be 84. Someone could be born in 1948. And someone could be born in 1984. Wishing well in reverse. 
And then you have Field of Dreams in reverse, okay? So now this just done took a different turn. This, these, these might be two different messages, all right? So you have Field of Dreams in reverse, and the card number on there is 21. So you have uh, 8 and 4 is 12, reduces down to 3. 3 is about uh, collaborations. Wishing well. Somebody's not getting their wishes. They're not getting the things that they are looking for, the things that they wanted. Uh, feel the dreams in reverse is the same thing. Uh, you, you had uh, something that you dreamed of having and you're not getting, okay? The number on the card is 21. 21 reduces down to 3. Again, this is you have two threes on the, the deck. Two threes talk about um, collaborations, talks about growth as well, okay? So let's uh, see what other messages we can get. And you have storm fields in the reverse. What's going on? So this message just totally changed. So storm fields in the reverse, well, actually, this is saying um, the storm is passing, okay? So again, we talked about that completion something ending for you i still like it i still like the message let's get a different deck here so we can close out uh, i feel like this is not even related to what this is but okay. so this is my deck and this is called what is the word what's the word what's the word and as soon as i figure out how to publish it in this uh, hexagon style, then uh, I will. Oh boy. So you have deception and you have entrapment. What are the odds of those two coming out together? So deception talks about lies and deceit. Entraption talks about uh, getting caught up could be unplanned pregnancy it could be uh someone trapping someone with the pregnancy uh talks about legal uh in court battles wow that just went different and i did say at the beginning that when you look at the whale card the whale is big something big something being breached i said that i know i said that i was there when i said it when y'all there when I said it? I think y'all were there when I said it. I know I said it. All right. So now we got something different. So, um, you know, I like to believe that that first message is something different that talks about, um, you know, happily ever after and a marriage coming in. Um, hopefully it is a different message and for a different uh, people. Because I don't think I don't feel like those are the, those are related. That's a, another thing about having, excuse me, different decks. So you have realization. Something is uh, someone is becoming aware of something. Perhaps it's this entrapment and the deception. Look at there. Come on now. Someone is realizing that they were deceived and have fallen into entrapment. Entrapment is, you you know, you could have uh, somebody who videotaped you without your knowledge or recorded you without your knowledge. That's entrapment right there. But also somebody uh, trying to trap you with a baby. Uh, someone trying to entrap you and extort money from you. A lot of ways you can trap people, but... Let's see what else comes out. <laughs> All right. I didn't mean to laugh. I apologize. So you have gold digger. Okay. Someone who's just after the money, only interested in your money and what you can do for them. But you also have cooties. Somebody has the cooties. Okay. It's a STI or STD. All right. So I don't, I don't even like the energy of this. I thought we were doing really well at the beginning. So, um, I'm going to wrap up this uh, part of the reading. So, deception, entrapment, realization, gold digger, and cooties. So, perhaps you have a gold digger who 
gave someone uh, the cooties to entrap them, to keep that person there with them. Okay, you have the cooties, I have the cooties now, you know, let's, let's be together. Um, that's a form of entraption. That's a form of uh, deceit and lies because if you're giving someone the cooties, then you knew you had them, okay? And, and giving someone the cooties and telling them, okay, you have it and I have it now, let's be together or let's stay together. Nobody else is going to want you. Um, that's not true, first of all, okay? Um, just because you you have the cooties, you go get help for that, you know? And if it's something that you, you can't get rid of, um, you have treatment for that, you know? And then you, you get into a, a relationship with someone else, you let them know. And then give them the choice of saying, okay, yes, we're going to work this out or we'll figure it out. Or say, no, you know what? I'm, I'm not going to uh, subject my life to that or my health. And that is their choice. And you shouldn't take their choice away from them. So let's, uh, this went down another road that I didn't expect it to be. So let's, uh, yeah. So let's get the, the angel numbers out and close this reading so you guys can uh, have a good weekend. So you have 641. Angel number 641 says, pressing matters. Make it part of your personal system. Your angels note that with the influx of new information or resources, you have to incorporate new methods into your daily life. Make the calls, set up structures, or just redraft your routine to include this new information. So I said with the breach, the whale and the breach, that something big was going to come down. Now, if this something big is the deception and the entrapment, um, you have to move accordingly. Okay, get on if you're not have if you don't have a daily routine, you need to get some structure and organization in your life. If cooties is what the deception was, and you you find out now you have the cooties, then you you're going to have to move differently. You're gonna have to move accordingly, and you're gonna have to uh, change up your lifestyle and and things like that. If there is something that you have that you can't get rid of, then you're definitely going to have to make some changes in diet and lifestyle and things like that. So um, angel number 641 is talking about creating structure and organization in your life. Um, and I hope that anyone who does have the cooties or is finding out that they have the cooties, that they get the proper uh, medical attention for that. And um, yeah. Yeah. So I hope you enjoyed the reading. I'm going to close this out uh, and end this right here. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and comment. Let me know what you think of the video. Um, also, let me know uh, how the sound is. I'm trying to speak louder and uh, be a little closer to, to the microphone. So uh, I hope that everyone has a great weekend, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye.